Nowhere in the United States do environmental practice and economic necessity intermingle so successfully than in the Kansas Flint Hills. And there's no better evidence of this than during the early spring fire season. On just the right day, with light to windless conditions, and perhaps topsoil moistened by recent rain, the hills seem to burn en masse, and the aroma of burning prairie is inescapable. Fire is natural and absolutely necessary to the survival of the tall grass prairie. Fires burn off the dead grasses and the unwanted sprouts of early spring. Early Native Americans began to notice the benefits of fire by observing how the regeneration of fresh green grass would attract bison and other animals to their hunting grounds. Soon, the hunters were setting fires intentionally to attract game. Emulating Indian hunters, farmers, and stock raisers set controlled fires in early spring just before cattle arrived for the grazing season. These same ancient ideas and techniques are used today with very little technological advance necessary. That's the way, just drag it and I'll put it out on the back side. That's okay, they're gonna put that out. Come on over with us. But we're gonna go over and light it up now. This fire is gonna burn both directions, you see. It'll burn slowly that way, uh, but it'll go fast that way. But this gives you the opportunity to watch the fire because you're gonna, you might end up in the middle of it. See, this is gonna go whoosh this way, but it's gonna start eating back against the wind this way. The rock of the Flint Hills protects the last tall grass prairie from below. The fire protects the grass from above. From the invasion of trees and woody shrubs, uh, if it weren't for the fire and the grazing animals that weed out, if you will, the woody plants and shrubs and broadleaf plants, uh, we'd have probably a scrub forest of eastern red cedars. Just shoulder to shoulder, not big enough to do anything with, crowds out the grass, an economic desert. <laughs> okay. That'll okay. Good drive, That'll be a good one, oh, yeah. You did such a good job in there talking to us. Yeah, that's great. good. Yeah, we yeah, really enjoyed I, that. There's, that's just, you know, down and dirty. There's so much to, to know and learn about the prairie. Yeah. Flint Hills rancher Jan Jansen has made a business out of burning his portion of the tall grass prairie. Visitors come from all over the country to witness and learn about the process. The tan-colored surface of the prairie is charred black and lifeless. One can even walk upon the freshly burnt grass soon after the flames have passed. As day comes to an end, light fades and the ground cools, but the burning continues in the dark, making for one of the most unique and to many spiritual experiences of the tall grass prairie.